All right, we know that slope intercept form is y equals mx plus b, where m is the slope and b is the y intercept. Now let's say we have um, we have a slope and a y intercept, and we are tasked to find the equation of the line. Well, since we have a slope and y intercept, we can right away use the formula y equals mx plus b. We can just replace um, the m by negative 2, which is the slope, and replace the b by the y-intercept, which is equal to a. So here we go. We have already the equation that we need. Now what if I have a point and a slope? Then we can use a point-slope form which is y minus y sub of 1 equals m times x minus x sub of 1, where m is the slope and x1, y1 is the given point. The plan here is that once we have the point slope form, we can either write this into um, the slope intercept form or to the standard form. Now, here is our first example. So we have, a, we have a slope and we have a point. And we would like to write our equation or we would, we would like to write our answer um, into the point slope form, slope intercept form, and standard form. So first, let's try to give our answer in point slope form. Okay, so I have the slope. I can just replace my m by one half later on. I have a point. This will be my x1, and this will be my y1. So I can replace my um, m by the slope one half. y1 is equal to negative 4, and my x1 is equal to 3. Now, I will have here now y minus y1 and y1 is equal to negative 4. So I will have y minus a negative 4 equals 1 half x minus our x value, which is 3. Now I have here a double negative, so we can write that as y plus 4. Next, um, well, this is now our point slope form. So we are done with this. Next, we are going to write our answer into the slope intercept form. I will distribute one half to my x and one half to my negative three. I will have one half x and then one half times negative three will be this. When you multiply this, you will get a negative 3 over 2. Now remember, when you are multiplying a fraction with a whole number, you can just pretend that you have a denominator 1 here. Then you multiply negative 1 by 3, which is negative 3. And then multiply your denominator 2 times 1, which is 2. Okay, so next... Um, we are going to um, remove 4 here. We can do that by subtracting 4 on both sides. Now, when you subtract 4 both sides, this will cancel out. You will just have to do negative 3 over 2 minus 4, which will give you negative 11 over 2. So this will be our slope intercept form. So we are done with the point slope form. We are done with the slope intercept form. Next, let's write this into the standard form. We can do that by multiplying both sides by 2. Now, we distribute your 2 here, distribute your 2, and distribute your 2. We will have 2y on this side, um, x minus 11. Note that when you distribute your 2, We'll have your 2 here, distribute your 2, um, this will cancel out, 
which is just one x or just x then 2 and 2 will cancel out will have negative 11 so 2y equals x minus 11 um, we need our x and y to be together so we subtract x on both sides I'll get here negative x plus 2y equals negative 11 um, it should be negative 11 um, now since x here is negative I need to um, divide everything by negative 1 okay when you divide everything by negative 1 the coefficient of your x will become positive so you will have here now x minus 2y equals positive it should be positive it should be positive, it should be positive. okay so this will be our standard form all right second example i have here a point and a slope which is equal to negative one fourth we are going to label our point x1 y1 we are going to replace our m by the slope negative one fourth um, y1 is equal to 7 and x1 is equal to 9 so i will have y minus 7 equals negative one fourth x minus 9 and this will be our points slope form next we are going to rewrite this into slope intercept form we are going here i just distributed negative one fourth to x and then negative one fourth times negative nine we'll get negative one fourth x plus negative one fourth times negative nine so when you simplify this We'll just have to do negative 1 times negative 9, which will give you a positive 9 over 4. Getting rid, getting rid of your negative 7 here, I'm going to add 7 on both sides. This will cancel out. 9 over 4 plus 7 will give us 37 over 4. And this will be our slope intercept form. Next, our goal is to write this into the standard form. So multiply both sides by 4. Um, of course, you can just distribute your 4 here. So we have 4 and 4 here. Okay. Of course, this will cancel out. This will cancel out. Okay. So you will have 4y. Um, negative 1x or just negative x and then just 37 here we add x on both sides we'll get x plus 4y equals 37 and this will be our standard form okay next example um, we would like to find the point slope form slope intercept form and standard form of each of the line below so first I have here uh, a line passing through point 1 comma 1 with slope 1 third. So to write the point slope form, I'm going to copy my point slope form. I, I already replaced my m um, by the slope which is 1 third. Um, next I'm going to label my x1 and then my y1. So my y1 will go here and my x1 will go here so i can replace my y1 by 1 my x1 by 1. so when you simplify this i'll get y minus 1 equals 1 third x minus 1 the point slope form for the second problem i'm going to set up my point slope form again i have to label my x1 and my y1 I already replaced my slope by 5 over 2 so my y1 is equal to negative 2 and my x1 over here will be equal to 3 okay that's my y1 and my x1 will be here now since I have a double negative here 
when you simplify this double negative it will be you're going to get positive 2 and then here will just be x minus 2 so this will be our slope um, point slope form third example um, again I'll write my point slope form um, I already replaced my slope which is negative 1 fourth this is my y1 and y1 is given to be negative 3 and my x1 is given to be negative 1 so I can now replace my y1 here by negative 3 and replace my x1 here by a negative 1 I have a double negative here I also have a double negative here so I will have y plus 3 equals negative 1 fourth x plus 1 the points look one okay so we are done writing this um, each of these um, questions into points slope form. Next, our goal is to write each of these into the slope intercept form and into the standard form. So, we showed earlier that the point slope form of this line is y minus 1 equals 1 third times x minus 1. Our goal right now is to write this into slope intercept form. So first, I'm going to distribute one third. Okay, this is the continuation um, for number one, the previous um, slide that I showed to you earlier. Now for the slope intercept form and the standard form, I am going. I distributed one third to x and one third to my negative one. So I will have one third x. And then one third times negative one is just this one. One third times negative one, but one third times negative one is just equal to negative one third. Now I have a negative one here, so I can add one on both sides to get rid of my negative one here. Remember, slope-intercept form means your y should be isolated; the rest should go on the other side of the equation. Since I have here a minus one. I can remove this by adding 1 on both sides. Now negative 1 third plus 1 will give us 2 thirds. So this is now our slope intercept form. Writing this in standard form, I need to get rid of my denominator. So I will multiply both sides by 3. And when you multiply by 3, you will have 3 here, you will have 3 here. This will cancel out and this will cancel out. Okay, of course, this 3 is gone already because we already distributed this 3 over here. So I will have 3y. And here is just 1x or x. And then I will have here positive 2. Again, in standard form, x and y is, should be together. So I can um, move x to the other side of the equation by subtracting x on both sides. I will have here negative x plus 3y. This will cancel out equals 2. Remember, our x should be positive. So divide everything by negative 1. Or you can just mentally change the sign of each of the terms. So that's negative, become positive. Positive will become negative. Positive will become negative. So this will be our standard form. Now, if we are going to identify A, B, and C, your A should be equal to 1, B should be equal to negative 3, and C is equal to your negative 2. Okay. For the second problem, this was the slope, or the point slope form that we uh, derived earlier. Next, we are going to write this into the slope intercept form. Again, we are going to distribute the 5 over 2 to our x and 5 over 2 times our negative 3. Okay, I have 5 over 2x times 5 over 2 times negative 3. When you multiply these two together, you're going to get negative 15 over 2. Getting rid of getting rid of our plus 2 here, we have to subtract 2 on both sides. Then this will just give us negative 19 over. Um, 
this will be our slope intercept form. Now we're writing this into the standard form. I'll just copy my slope intercept form, uh, multiply both sides by 2. And again, when you do that, um, when you distribute your 2 here, and distribute your 2 here, this will cancel out, and this will cancel out. You will have here 2y. Um, that's 5x, and this is negative or minus 19. Again, our x and y should be together. Subtract 5x on both sides. Now remember, our x, the coefficient of our x should be positive. So in this case, I have to divide everything by negative 1. We can just mentally change the sign of each term. We should be able to get 5x minus 2y equals positive 19. Again, solving for a, b, and c. My a is 5, my b is negative 2, and my c is equal to 19. Last example, this was the point slope form that we derived earlier. Our goal right now is to write this into the slope intercept form. So we are going to distribute negative 1 fourth to x, negative 1 fourth to positive 1. We'll be able to get negative 1 fourth x and then negative 1 fourth times positive 1. When you simplify negative 1 fourth times 1 using multiplicative identity, it will just be equal to negative 1 fourth. Getting rid of our positive 3 here, subtract 3 on both sides, negative 1 fourth minus 3 will give us negative 13 over 4. So next, now that we have our slope intercept form, we are going to write this into the standard form. So multiply both sides by 4, this will cancel out, and this will cancel out. We'll get negative 1x here, and just minus 13 on this side. Now negative 1x is just equal to um, uh, negative x. So we can just add x on both sides, we'll get x plus 4y equals negative 13. Now since the coefficient of x is already positive, I don't need to divide by negative 1. Now if we are going to identify the um, value of a, b, and c, my a will be 1, the coefficient of x, my b will be positive 4, and c will be negative 13. Now let's say um, I have uh, a point, but then the slope is undefined. Now remember, undefined slope means we have a b, u, x. Okay? So the equation of the line should be x equal to something. That something is just the value of um, the x value of the given point, which is 6. Remember, this is, this is your x and this is your y. So the equation will be x equals 6. Okay? So that will be the equation. And again, in terms of writing this into the standard form, we can say x plus 0y equals 6. Or simply, just say x equals 6. Now, if the slope is given to be 0 and I have a point, okay, so I have I have a line that has a zero slope, and that line is passing through 2 comma 3. Slope 0 means you have h o y, horizontal line. Equation will be y equal to the y value of the point, which is y equals 3. And that will be the equation of the line. Again, in terms of standard form, we'll get 0x plus 1y equals 3. So this would be your standard form. A is 0, B is 1, C equals 3. Alright, in this case, um, try to solve this problem. Uh, and also, this question over here. If you have any question, just let me know and I'll be able to help you.